All right, say hi to Dr. Harry Wasbury. He is the chief of colorectal surgery at Beaumont and he was one of Jamie's doctors. So it is so wonderful to see you, Dr. Wasbury. And so we can continue to advocate in, in Jamie's memory and in, in his name. Of course, yeah. And it, uh, uh, Jamie is a wonderful person, wonderful patient. I and mean, as I do it, just seeing him from the get-go. And he, he, he was very mature in this approach and a wonder, wonderful human being as you know. Yeah, I think the biggest news coming out of this year is they finally dropped the age of colonoscopies from 50 to 45. So Dr. Wasbury, right. I mean, what kind of impact are we going to see on that? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game changer. And then we always felt that it happens to younger people. And we've even looked at our own data and said, yeah, there, it's happening to younger people. And then there was never really a movement until recently. And, 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 and I really think it's interesting that any form of celebrity or any form of telecast that allows people to hear about it, it, it makes a difference. And the American Cancer Society initiated the change down to 45. And now um, a lot of the task forces are, are promoting it. And the last step is the insurance companies who are now coming around and allowing the screening to start at age 45. So it's a big, big impact. Why are people so scared to get their colonoscopies? I mean, even people who are, it's, it's the age, it's the time. How do we get over our fear? And how would you explain how to go about getting over right. our fear? It's, um, people are afraid to talk about it. It's a funny topic to talk about. Um, we actually turn it around even next week, which is uh, colorectal awareness month. We actually have an inflatable colon. It's a 20 foot long inflatable colon. And and for the reason it makes people laugh, it works. Mm -hmm. And we promote screening and promote the education and screening, but people are afraid to talk about things like that. Um, and, and, and people are so fearful of the bowel prep, the clean out. Um, that, that really bothers people that they have to go through that. And we try to convince them it's not that bad uh, mm -hmm. and it could be life-saving for them. So tell us, take us step by step. If someone is saying, gosh, it's, it's my turn to get a colonoscopy, but I'm not quite sure what it's going to, it's going to be days that it's going to take out of my life. What do people need to know? Right. It, it really is a 12 to 24 hour thing where you, you, you prep the night before. And sometimes we're now even allowing people to prep the day of. Um, and then the whole procedure is about 30 minutes. The whole process uh, at the endoscopy center is about an hour and a half. And then you're done. You know, your, your limitations, you can't drive the rest of the day. But other than that, it's, it's one day out of your life or even half a day out of your life. So it's not, you know, it's not that big of a deal, you know, to take time uh, set aside to do such a thing. So if people aren't 45, um, people ask me, well, what should I do if I'm not of the age of screening? My biggest thing was talk to your doctor and get a plan. Is that something you would advocate for? Absolutely. And then and come, and especially if there are any issues, you know, most people, they have no idea they have it, you know, but if you know this bleeding, you know, this a change in the bowel habits, um, your, your blood counts drop, you have no idea why, or if there's a family history, those are the things you've got to be on top of even if you're, you know, under age 45. And there's this rule of thumb that if you have a family member that had colon cancer, we want you in 10 years before the age of that given person. So those are the types of things to think about because even if you're not at age 45, your physician may pick up on some things that, you know, may lead to a colonoscopy even at an earlier age. I've always said that you can be your best advocate. Um, and sometimes when people are under the age of 45 and they have sometimes these symptoms, um, people think, well, you're, you're too young. It's, you know, we won't, we won't get you checked out yet. But advocating for yourself and understanding if you feel that something's off, keep asking and asking those questions and, and, and maybe bring it up to your primary care physician. Right, you gotta be dogmatic about your own health. Uh, ab absolutely. And, and one of the problems is that with the younger patients, we often see them at later stages because of that reason. You're, people just say, I'm young, or the, even the physicians say, well, there's nothing wrong with you. And, and, and all of a sudden, the younger patients are presenting with more advanced disease. You know, that's kind of the paradox there. And, and that's a problem. And that, that's, again, the reason 
to push for earlier screening and, and make, make the awareness uh, to the younger uh, persons. So, I mean, just being here with you and talking about advocacy and continuing Jamie's message that, you know, he went on the air a week before he died and said, look, yes. you should get a colonoscopy and, and get checked out. I still hear from people who are saying, oh, I remember what Jamie said and, and I'm, I'm going to get checked out. Um, what have you heard and, and, you know, what patients are you experiencing? That's the same. It, when he got, it's interesting. When he got on the radio, and I knew the backstory. It, it was so impactful, even to myself. Not much jars you at a, you know, a certain point. Doing, you know. you've seen a lot. <laughs> yeah, and and that that took me. That was visceral for me, and and it was visceral for people that he was brave enough to get up there and and do that you know what i mean at, at the, you know that was that was something and that was very impactful and his colleagues on on the radio with him you could feel it you, there was jamie made an impact and people and i've said it and i mentioned it she was that the they will come specifically because of jamie they don't all know him by name but they'll say yeah what happened to the the, the sportscaster you know they don't really know story but they know he was young and and when he got on it it just it um you know there's there's something called the katie kirk effect when she gets talks about her husband and uh, jamie locally had that impact you know and, and there was a push and, 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 and you can jamie's name was mentioned multiple times in that push for screening uh, you know, as as we move forward and we make people more and more aware, what should we know in 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 March? And what would be the biggest message that you would like to get across as a surgeon who sees all this and as someone who's giving colonoscopies daily? Right. It's it just the awareness, and it, it doesn't matter. The most common time people find it is they have no symptoms at all, uh, and and so certainly if you have symptoms, check on it. But even when you get to the age of, it, do it. You know, it because it's, it's such a preventable thing. And it's this whole concept. If you can get in there, get these little polyps out early, it's a very, very preventable cancer. And the, and the colonoscopies, the beauty of them, they are both diagnostic and they're therapeutic because we remove the polyps and we can reduce the incidence of cancer. So just be aware. Don't blow it off. Don't push it, you know, um, and take advantage of now the fact that they've, you know, they've lowered the age to age 45. It encompasses a whole new group of persons that are gonna benefit from that change. And people also ask me, they say, well, should I do anything with my diet? Should I be eating differently? We don't really quite know why the numbers of people under the age of 50 are starting to go up. I mean, there could be multiple factors at this point, but what just general advice would you give for people? Uh, good living, you know. It, 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 there's unfortunately there's often there's nothing people have done right or wrong you know um there's potential good high fiber diet uh you know low fat uh, fruits and vegetables those types of things um uh, even smoking doesn't really have a higher you know much higher instance. so there's you know that's, that's an interesting point alcohol doesn't have a big impact on it so there are multiple reasons you know that you think for other cancers that don't exist, but but good fiber diet, uh, everything, drinking, smoking, no smoking, drinking in moderation, those are the things. And then just being aware and, and following yeah. guidelines and, and being on top of it. Because again, most people that get it, they've had no symptoms at all. Yeah, you know, and that was really, that was the case with Jamie. And I remember meeting yeah. with you for the first time, It, it we were blindsided. Um, I know. And yeah. that doesn't, you know, that's not going to happen to everybody. And I don't want people to be scared and be fearful. Um, but, you know, there's the possibilities and we all don't expect it. You know, why us? Why not us? So right. if people right. are aware, you know, they get themselves a primary care physician so they can have their yearly physicals, make sure they're on top of their health um, and do it for their family and do it for Jamie. He'd, yeah, he'd, right. he'd love to hear these stories, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm with you 100%. You're preaching to the choir. Um, and I, I think Jamie made an impact. He did. And, and it came right at the time as the younger age was being promoted. And his story fell right into that into that narrative at uh, a good time, you know, for that.
All right. Well, we'll keep um, bringing up awareness. And Dr. Harry Wallace, very thank you so much. I wish I could give you a hug through the screen. <laughs> I'll take the virtual one. <laughs> I, I so appreciate you. all you do, and we'll yeah. keep uh, and we'll keep checking, and we'll keep fighting. Great. Thanks, Christine. Thank all you. Right.